big questions that we get a lot of times is, do I need to set all three date types? Well, the simple answer is no. And what I mean by three date types is, is start, end, and due date. You can set a start date without a due date or an end date. You can set a due date without a start and an end date. You can set an end date without a start and end date. You can set a start and an end date. So you really get, it's really your choice in how you do that. It's just important to remember um, how each type of each date type behaves. And you want to go and review the tutorial on differences between the dates to understand that. And in fact, you don't even have to set dates. So if you don't set any dates, then the stuff's open for the entire semester. It includes content, discussions, drop boxes, and so on. But again, it's important to understand how all of this, these setting, these dates, affect can, can negatively affect your students. And you certainly want to watch the tutorial on how setting dates affects the students. So what I'm getting at here is if I go to Edit Properties in Place, and I'm on the content area here, I can just set a start date. So I'm going to set a start date into the future for this tutorial. And now that just sets the start date, which means that this item can't be viewed to, this, uh, to the student until this date is reached. They can't click on the quizzes. And if they do, they don't get the start button. Uh, I'll get rid of that start date. And if I want to go ahead and add an end date, I can add an end date. And I will say that typically adding an end date is probably the one that most people will use and the reason for that is because especially if you're an online class you may want the content open but you want it to close at a certain time so again after this date is reached the student can no longer take that quiz and then again you can go ahead and add a due date but you need to be careful with adding due dates and you certainly want to read and view the tutorials about the best but where you should be setting those dates also uh, on that. But I can set a start and an end date if I so desire. It's really up to you in how you mess around with this. But again, remembering that how the students affect that and what your goal is in terms of what you want the students to be able to do in your course.